Hi everyone, Robert here with Mod Science. Um, so today I'm actually working with Primo Chill's Rigid Bender tool, and um, I'm actually going to be installing some PETG. It's about, I think the outer diameter is like 12 millimeters. This is like EK's PETG. Uh, into my uh, other build that um, in, uh, that I have for my Ryzen 5 1600. And I will admit that initially it's kind of hard to get accustomed to how to use this thing, but I think I've got kind of the hang of it. But anyway, so it comes with three bending brackets or bars. Um, there's, uh, they'll come actually separate at one, at, uh, with, uh, with a couple of rubber pieces. Uh, I didn't initially know how to, to, uh, to set everything up because they don't have an instruction manual uh, in the box itself, or at least if it was there, I didn't see anything. But uh, online, there's kind of a diagram of how to actually set it up. So what you essentially do is um, you would take, so it, it, it comes with all this stuff, right? These little pins and these bolts, uh, these brackets, and then some rubber pieces. And this stuff peels off, and these pieces are actually like a glossy black but I'm gonna keep them on uh, these two just for the sake of it. But what you do is you take the rubber pieces that come with it, peel off this protective material right here, and then uh, put the rubber gasket on one side of these brackets, put it on the other side of the bracket, and then you make sure you peel off this brown material on, um, on both sides of, of the, uh, the bracket otherwise the rubber will, it will adhere to that piece of paper and it can come off and it really won't do any good. Uh, but the reason why, I wonder why the hell they would, they would actually have the, uh, the rubber on it, but the reason being is because they don't want you to scratch your tubing. So it makes a lot of sense. And you'll notice that if you look carefully there, you'll kind of see that the, the bracket itself is a little bit shorter than the, two, uh, the, the rubber itself, and that's, that's wise. So what you do is you essentially stack up the different pieces and then you would simply take the screw and it actually goes in the back of this unit here. You'll notice that right there. And there's a number of different places that you can actually put it in. Anywhere here where there's an indentation is where you can actually fit the screw itself, right? I think that these holes right here uh, aren't necessarily to put the, the, the screw through. It's mainly to mount the, the, the unit to like a workbench or something, but um, I'm not gonna be using that. Uh, there's also some uh, some rubber gaskets, that rubber, um, rubber stoppers that come with this thing. Uh, this stuff right here, these right here, that you can adhere to the back of it so you can prevent it from slipping around. Um, but anyway, there's a few, uh, there's like six of these screws if I'm not mistaken, and these thumb screws, six bolts, six thumb screws, uh, four gaskets, and then three sets. This is how they'll actually come uh, in the box itself, right? And then I'll kind of show you here. So this is what the rubber 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 material will look like, and you just peel that off. Not necessarily the most glorious unboxing video that I have here, but you know I was just working on on um, what's it called? I was working on bending some tubing, and I figured, what the hell? I'll just kind of get people accustomed to what this stuff is because. You know, the video that, uh, that they actually have online kind of shows you the different methods for how to set up, uh, like to make certain bends. But, you know, it has taken a little bit of a getting used to how to actually use this thing, but uh, it hasn't been too difficult to work with. I actually made a pretty, pretty nice little um, uh, multi planar bend like this in my build. Um, I just installed it, and I'll show you guys videos and pictures of that thing later. Um, but anyway, I'll kind of set up one of these other bends and then maybe show you some footage, but at least kind of wanted to show you um, what, the, what the unit is like. It's made out of, I think this is maybe like uh, acrylic or something, and then the back of it is a plastic material too. Seems to be fairly decently built. It's got a nice luster to it, and uh, it looks very professional. So um, yeah, you can actually make pretty complicated bends with this thing, all I'm doing. Uh, what I'll be doing with this particular PE, piece of PETG is about 10 inches into it, I'm going to make a bend, a 90 degree bend, and then I'm going to have it kind of kind of loop around, so like that, kind of like two 90 degree bends so it feeds into the new mono block that I have installed. And I may actually show you the bending footage if um, I have enough time to do that and, and, and enough time to set up everything. 
but this will at least kind of get you accustomed to the, the unit itself. So anyway, thanks for checking this out. This is very brief. Just wanted to kind of get you a little bit um, familiar with, with uh, the Rigid Bender Kit. Um, it's kind of hard to find online. It's like 60 bucks. Um, I found it on uh, mainframecustoms.com and uh, got it fairly quick but if you go to like primo chills website it's it's out of stock right now so not surprisingly considering how popular um, um, rigid bending is getting so anyway thanks again for checking out the video and there may be more uh, added on to the end of this thing but we'll see